If you're a graphic designer looking for the best budget laptop in 2020, you're in the right place. And we're gonna be looking at laptops below $500 all the way up to around $1,000. So if that's your price point, then you're at the right video. We're gonna dive in right now. If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser. This is where you're gonna find the best tech and tools for graphic designers and creative professionals. So if that sounds like your kind of place, consider subscribing and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. Also, if you're curious about the exact pricing and in-depth specs of any of these laptops as we're going through the video, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. That's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. One thing I will note about these laptops is they are gonna be built for graphic designers using, say, Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, uh, maybe even the Affinity Suite, uh, or any just basic graphic design program. If you're somebody who wants to get into video editing or motion design, or even like 3D animation, I don't recommend these laptops. I recommend you going onto my channel, checking out some of my other videos, or check out the YouTube cards above or the description below for some videos I recommend to help you out with those type of laptops. All right, also one thing that I wanna note is at the end of this video, I'm gonna talk through the specs and help you understand why I've chosen these laptops. But first and foremost, coming to you are my laptop recommendations. The first laptop we're gonna look at is the Lenovo IdeaPad S340. This comes with the Intel 8th Gen i5-8265U processor, eight gigs of RAM, in the integrated graphics processing unit, which is the Intel Ultra HD Graphics 620. It also comes with 256 gigs of solid state hard drive. The Dell Inspiron 15 comes with the Intel 7th Gen i5-7200U processor, 8 gigs of RAM, and the integrated graphics processing, which is the Intel HD Graphics 620. The third machine is the Asus VivoBook 15 Thin. It comes with the AMD R5-3500U processor, 8 gigs of RAM, and the AMD Radeon Vega 8 graphics processing unit, as well as 256 gigs of solid-state hard drive. The HP NVX360, this comes with the Intel 8th Gen i5-8250U processor, 16 gigs of RAM, so the NV comes with the most RAM on this entire list, and it has the integrated Intel Ultra HD Graphics 620 GPU, as well as 256 gigs of solid state hard drive. Number five, the Acer Swift 5. This comes with the Intel 8th Gen i5-8265U processor, 8 gigs of RAM, the integrated Intel Ultra HD Graphics 620, and 256 gigs of solid state hard drive. Now for the bonus round, because I know I said I'd only have five top laptop recommendations, but I couldn't resist these last two laptops for two reasons. First and foremost, I know a lot of people are interested in Apple products as graphic designers. So I've put on here the Apple MacBook Air, and I wanna discuss this laptop now. It comes with eight gigs of RAM, it comes with the Intel 8th Gen i5, 8210Y processor and the Intel Ultra HD Graphics 617, as well as 128 gigs of solid state hard drive. Now this is gonna be a good laptop for graphic designers. The only thing I would mention, if you want one under $1,000, you're gonna have to get eight gigs of RAM. But in order to upgrade that RAM, if you ever wanna get more power in this machine, be able to run more programs at once, which we'll discuss in the spec section of this video in a few minutes, I would recommend getting 16 gigs of RAM in this laptop because it's gonna be a little bit more money, but in the long term, you're gonna be more satisfied with the performance. So you can be under $1,000 at eight gigs, but I recommend 16 from a professional standpoint. All right, the next laptop is the Acer Concept D3. This laptop comes with the Intel 9th Gen i5-9300H processor, eight gigs of RAM, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 graphics processing unit, and 256 gigs of solid state hard drive. This is going to be my favorite laptop on the list, not just because it's the most expensive, but it's truly gonna be the best buy for the price on this whole list. And as a side note, it also comes with a DCI-P3 of 100% color accuracy, which is very similar to Adobe RGB color accuracy. The laptops that are featured on this list don't have great color accuracy outside of this Acer Concept D3 and the MacBook Air. So if color accuracy is a, something you're looking for, but you're also on a budget, these two laptops are going to be my top picks. If color accuracy isn't a huge concern, then any of the previous laptops, one through five, are going to be great buys for you as well. All right, so that concludes the list and the lineup of laptops. Now let's jump into the specs. 
So we were just talking about the processors, talking about the H processor versus the U processor. Let's sift through all that jargon and talk about why that matters. The H processor is the standard desktop processor or the processor that's built for gaming and for workstations. The mobile U processor is more of a processor built for students, for businessmen who are using the Microsoft suite. So Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, they're taking notes on Google Drive. They're not doing a lot of heavy lifting. The processor will still work good for graphic design, but it's not as well equipped as a workstation or gaming processor to really run multiple programs at the same time to get a lot of power out of the processor. The U processor can spike up to the place where the H processors are, but they can't hang on that long. They, they just end up not being able to give as much performance. So that's something you need to realize when you're buying a more budget laptop, that processor is not gonna be as well equipped as say a standard H processor. So just because you have an i7 processor versus an i5 processor doesn't mean that i7 is going to be more powerful if this is an H processor. This i5 over here could actually be a more powerful processor. So those are some things to keep in mind when purchasing a laptop on a budget. The next thing I want to look at is the RAM. RAM is important because every time you open a program on your laptop, you're pulling from the RAM memory. Now, when you pull from the RAM memory, what happens is it starts to slow down your computer if you run out of RAM memory, and then your computer has to start to delineate the RAM and, and allow you to use a little bit here and a little bit there. So as you add more RAM memory to your computer, it allows you to run Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, and Spotify all at the same time, perhaps, without draining the power of your computer. So that's often one upgrade you can make that will quickly boost your level of performance in your laptop. Next is the storage. So hard disk drive versus solid state hard drive. I always recommend solid state hard drive because it doesn't have moving parts. It's gonna be far more reliable and it's gonna be faster. The hard disk drive has moving parts. It's a disk and an arm and an eye that's reading the disk and that's how it saves and loads and pulls information to you to use as you're using your computer. Solid state hard drive is just gonna be faster and more reliable. Definitely recommend that. The graphics processing unit. This is only important if you're getting into video editing. People often ask me, I'm doing Photoshop and Illustrator. I'm working with graphics. I'm a graphic designer. Do I need a graphics processing unit? If you're only working on Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, the Affinity Suite, Coral, Draw, whatever it might be, you don't need a GPU. Well, excuse me, not that you don't need a GPU. You don't need a high performing GPU. The integrated GPU like the Intel uh, 620 graphics is going to be plenty. If you're a graphic designer who's also going to be doing video editing or motion design, that's where you need that GPU and it's very important to have. All right, that covers it for the best budget laptop lineup of 2020. If you're curious about the exact specs or pricing, you can head down in the description below, click one of those links. And of course, it gives me a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But I'm super grateful for me. I'll use those links because that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com and I'll see you here on the next video.